It's recording. All right. Welcome to our podcast. I'm Carl. I'm Kylie. This week we're going to be talking about how to fear grass. Our time. memories like blackout. Christian yeah. phone palm trees. Saturday. Hey, none of it logistically makes sense. Yeah. The yeah. that have been unsolved. Are you reaching the Earth's core? Okay, cue the intro. Hi, guys. So I just. This is editing Carl right now. And I just wanted to bring to your guys' attention that editing Carl made a big mistake. A really big mistake. Um, As you can see, the podcast is shorter than usual. And that's because um, we haven't talked about it because um, we it didn't happen. But we usually post every two weeks and also film on that two week during or on that two week period and basically what happened was um um because i have a really old phone and my phone it my phone just broke for some reason and it wouldn't record things and you, there was no sound coming out of it and we usually use voice memos but because um because my phone broke I had to improvise and because I am dumb and I didn't look at the recording um it's all muffly and the recording wasn't good and it was just really bad and so right now I'm going to try to catch you guys up because the audio right when I'm editing it as well I tried fixing it, but then I also made another mistake, but um, we won't go into how many mistakes I've made this whole entire video. Um, Not even Kylie knows about this, so, but yeah, I'm so sorry. I literally messed it up, Um, but basically get into the video. Hi guys. Hello. Um, Welcome. (laughs) Okay, I guess we already addressed the situation. Um, So we're just refilming a bit of this. Yeah. um, We just. It was. I edited until like four a.m. and then I (laughs) had to rewatch the film and stuff, and all the parts were like disconnected, and I was like, oh my god, I can't. So I had to cut like. It was a whole adventure, and I just found out this morning. Carl texts me, she goes, um, so I have to tell you something about the episode. In my, in my little disclaimer, I actually said, Kylie doesn't know about this yet, so I was like, <laughs> Kylie knows now. Yeah, she knows. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, I, this is what I want to say. Now I understand why YouTubers, why being a YouTuber is kind of hard, because I always thought, oh, like, editing, like, putting videos together, it's not that hard. Yeah, it seems so yeah, easy. Like, oh, you have to, they have to wait, like, um, you know, like, they upload every, like, Monday and Friday, right? And so I'm like, oh, that's, like, yeah, not I'm that Yeah, I'm like, bad. um, that's literally all you yeah. do. And, like, they have to come up with video ideas, but now, like, once you start, now that we've kind of start, we're not even posting every day. There's some, like, daily yeah. vloggers who do this every day, and I don't think I can mm-hmm. do that. We post once every other week, which I know, guys, seems like so little, but we're like we're like students, yeah, so we, we have like tons of homework, all that kind of stuff, AP classes, and Minecraft. Um, this is kind of our, yeah, this, <laughs> this is our little passion project, and um, yeah, so I just have so much respect for other content creators. It's now like now I know why, like some daily vloggers like. I was like, oh my god, like, now I can't believe you do this every day, you know, cutting. And when the file gets yeah. lost, that must suck. Like, what, oh do my you, god. what do you put to them now? The anxiety from editing. I always would be like, you're literally just cutting a video. Like, it's I not know. hard. But editing is, like, makes me so anxious sometimes because you want to put out the best content you can. Exactly. And, and now it's, like, all gone. Yeah. It's literally your life's work. <laughs> I also think like you have yeah. to be very interesting to do this type of stuff. Like it was really hard to come up with ideas on what to talk about on the podcast because like Yeah, and that's also why we post like every yeah. other week is because we wanna have like good content. We definitely record like maybe like twice as much time as like what we post because we want it to be really good yeah, content. We're just trying to, to, and so it takes time. Yeah. We just want to like accumulate as much good stuff that's happened 
and put it because we don't if we do it like every single week I feel like we we don't have anything to bring to the table and especially during quarantine yeah yeah you're right like I think outside of quarantine there'd be like more stuff happening but you know it is what it is um but yeah most most of our exciting Um, stuff is like in minecraft but we didn't want it to be so minecraft based a minecraft podcast yeah we didn't, we didn't expect it yeah. to be something. We thought it would be like a one-time thing. Wait, did this did the podcast come first or the Minecraft? I think we had like two episodes before, and then <gasps> we started talking about yeah. Minecraft. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, we we didn't expect. It. <laughs> but it's actually such like a great activity. I think hundred percent recommend it with your friends because it's like it's not like you're in person, but like when you see someone else, it's not like. Y- you know what I mean? Like, there's, like, another person, yeah. like, jumping around. Like, it's a little... <laughs> I think it's, like, you feel... It's it's the closest thing to interaction. If you can't see yes. them because of COVID, this is, like, the closest thing to interaction at this point. So, mm-hmm. um, but I... But, yeah, that's, like, that's pretty much... But, oh, I was going to ask because... Kylie is actually going to go to T4 after we film this. <laughs> so this is, I love Boba. I love Boba, too. So this, this is you know, like, a lot of like, people don't know what Boba is. Yeah. Some people don't know what Boba is. I met, like, numerous And I'm like, okay, so let me just, like, tell people in case they're like, Wait, what are on. these girls Some people like, don't like, like Boba. Like, which I'm like, what? Yeah. Some people are like, the texture is weird. I think it's great. But it's um, the best part. The texture is the best part. So, like... They're yeah. hitting on the best part. Like, you want to just slurp, like, a really, yes. like... Th- like, because the tea is, like, thin, right? Because it's not, like, mm-hmm. a smoothie. You're made to drink it with the boba. The boba's, like, adding texture. Or which adds texture. Yeah, it's, like, smoothie. Only, like, smoothie's, like a, like, a thick, consistent texture. Boba's, like... You get these little, like, sweet little mochi balls, exactly. kind of. Exactly. But, yeah, what you were... What, what you saying? You are going to explain what boba is to the non-boba people? <laughs> <laughs> They're, like, these little balls... Of like sweet tapioca, and they're just like inside like your flavored tea, but it's like a sweet drink kind of thing. It's great. I love. It. Oh, okay. Yeah. But there's also. Well, what's your go-to? Okay, I'm trying. What's your to go-to order? Off into different boba. Um. Oh wait, but taro is like always my. Go- I feel like that's so basic though, which is why. Okay, I love taro, yeah. but the problem with taro is that um. Wait, do you say taro or taro? I say taro. Maybe it's taro. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I used to say taro, but then everyone taro. kept saying taro, so now I call it taro. Do you guys um, like Google Translate this? Because we always Google Translate all the words. We... <laughs> but, I mean... Okay, but taro is really good. It's just, it's very inconsistent. Some places they make it really powdery, <gasps> and so it's like yeah. the worst drink. But it can also be the best drink if they make it right. Wait, wait. Okay, but... I guess we'll I never guess... know. I guess we'll never know. That is it. I'll insert the audio. It's a Kanye West phrase when he won. Are we going to get copyrighted? Because last time we inserted Um, a TikTok audio and we got copyrighted. Don't know what we're talking about. We're not making money off of this anyway, so. (laughs) But if we do. um, um, I was going to say, we started buying boba ice cream where the ice cream is like the... um, the drink flavor and there's boba in it and it's actually really yes good. like i didn't expect it it it's really is good. so good there's this really cute place in um where we okay. live i can't yeah, include this li- they have like this ice cream it's like rolled ice cream <gasps> I've so had like before. they take like the but it's like boba oh. so they'll take like the boba tea and they'll like put it on the, the little rolly ice yeah, freezy thing. thing and they scrape it and yeah, and then they'll scrape it, and then they'll put boba on top. So it's like a frozen boba ice it's cream good. rolled up. Okay, now I want to try it. It is great. I'll do that <laughs> as well. Yeah. Um, okay, but I love boba, but I hate, um, I think it's lychee, or like the other. Lychee? Yeah. Or what is it? We don't know how to we pronounce things. We got to get yeah. consistent. <laughs> But it's like it's kind of like boba, except they're clear and they're like squared. But I'm I'm not there's a more fan. There's more versions. There's like yellow. Like I don't know what they're called, but I just don't like it. There's like rainbow lychee, lychee, lychee. I think it's lychee. I have no idea. I don't like those. Lychee. I prefer I boba hundred percent. I don't like them either. I think it's because 
What do you think about grass jelly? I hate, I hate lychee or whatever. <laughs> I hate lychee so much that I never even tried the others. <laughs> Wait, grass jelly's not lychee though. It's like, it's like a pudding, but like very hint. Of grass jelly it's actually pretty good <gasps> wait yeah I've had it's these. like it's like the black I've jelly them. i see it's them really right good now. i don't like it <laughs> i think oh, I what think okay that's like my second I favorite think it's because of the texture for me because boba texture really? is like chewy oh. right and lychee is like hard and like it's like silky yeah and you like it oh it's silky but when you like eat on it like when your teeth bites on it it like it's not as satisfying as boba where you can chew on it I don't know, maybe. <laughs> what do you think about popping boba? I'm not Girl, a fan. What are these other boba types? What popping? They like pop in your mouth. Huh? Like you, they're generally fruit bobas, and like when you chew on them, instead of it being like a chewy yeah. texture, it like bursts How open does that work? in your mouth. I don't know. I've never made it, but I've, I've had, had it, it, and I've it's okay. Tried, I've only no. I I didn't even know this. Okay, do you think fruit bubble tea, do you think that's, like, oh. good? Do you think it's good? Uh, or is it even boba? I had fruit once. Mm, I don't think I liked it. I'm a big advocate for hating on fruit Yeah, I don't boba. think I liked it when I had, when I tried a fruit one which is why i tried it it's just you're not having boba yeah. you're just having juice have, with is, boba pearls yeah, i think because most of the boba shops that i've went to um before like the ones not in california mm -hmm. they've kind of failed to you know i think they just did not do it maybe if they made it taste better but like the all the ones i've tried just don't taste uh -huh. good that's probably why i stay away from well california also has a huge asian population True. Um, or I don't know if this is just me, but they make the fruit consistency like watery. I don't. Yeah, I feel like it's very like it's like not milk based. It's, yeah, it's I like think, juice. Yeah, juice. That's what it is. Bruh, we're not dude, we're not like boba makers or anything. We're not taste testers either, but we're just. We should try and make it one time. Oh. Once quarantine ends, we'll make it together. I never made boba, but I have bought the kit at 99 Ranch, and I, like, took the boba, and I made, like, the drink, mm -hmm. and I took the boba fridge, and I basically put it in there, and that's how I made my own boba during quarantine. Oh, that's exciting. We just go down the street and I buy actually it. like matcha. Matcha's pretty good. Ooh, I'm not a big <gasps> fan of matcha. Okay, I've... I know everyone loves matcha, but, like, it's just... I don't know why. I've never tried matcha at an actual boba tea, but the one I got in the kit was yummy, so... <laughs> the one I got in the kit was good. Okay, matcha with a ton of sugar is good, but that's because I like the sugar. It's not because I like the matcha. Is it matcha? Just, like, green tea? Isn't that, like, basically what it is? Is it? Right. We should know this, Carl. This yeah, is... it's green tea leaves. I like it. But I don't drink tea. Really? It's okay. Like, I feel like a lot of things don't make it sweet enough. Oh, I but I've never had one officially at, like, Boba area, so I'll try it. We'll give reviews. Like, I like cheap Mokbong matcha. Like, cheap matcha. <laughs> like, cheap matcha is really good because it's, like, super sugary. Wait, what matcha again? But, like, actual, like, really cheap matcha. Matcha itself? Like, you know how there's, like, really cheap matcha and then there's, like, very high-end matcha? No. I'm not into this type of stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I've never... <laughs> okay, so, like, the really inexpensive matcha yeah. tastes the best to me because it's, like, loaded up with oh. sugar. But, like, real matcha that's, like, high quality, of, like, real matcha. like, I don't like it. Yeah, I, so I don't actually like matcha. I just like Thank sugar. <laughs> um... Okay, you've actually still haven't answered. I just realized. I asked, what is your go- You asked me mine, but we forgot. So, like, what are you going to uh -huh. order when you get to T4? Okay. <laughs> Do you want to hear? I have it memorized. Yeah, go ahead. Classical rose milk tea, regular 30% sugar, zero <laughs> ice with boba. Oh, my God, so and I know my entire family's. Um, 
and I know mine for every single boba shop. Oh, like you have a different one for each boba shop? Yeah. So like when we go to Toronto, they have what's it called? <gasps> I forgot what it's called. There's I'm one blanking. called Lemon something. But they have this Yeah, this happy, yeah, lemon. happy lemon. Um but I don't like that one that much. My sister had one where there was cheese. There's bamboo. In it. What? Oh, I don't like that. I've never tried it. I don't like cheese in general though. Mm. When I think about cheese and boba, I feel like that's sin like why would you a cheese and a drink first of all what yeah that's just flag. weird what's your thoughts okay what's your okay what's your overall like favorite bubble flavor from any like store uh i'm gonna be honest with you i've n- never been to that many boba shops <laughs> like i i've probably only been to like three and i get the same thing every time so (laughs) what about you (laughs) okay wait i'm trying to google the name of the place it's in In toronto it's like very common in canada yeah um what's it it, this is not boba related but i know like a lot of oh tim hortons it's like a huge (laughs) chain Uh, (laughs) oh my god tim hortons is my favorite their iced coffee is absolutely my favorite i would die for their iced coffee um yeah their iced coffee and their chicken noodle soup is actually sheska's beautiful never Um, wait i'm trying to remember what the place was called it had like a purple logo Um, i'm probably gonna get roasted for not knowing what it's called because i haven't been there in a very long time um, but it's their brown sugar milk tea. Oh. What? I'm just, I searched up. It's like they take brown sugar syrup and they drizzle around the cup and then they put brown sugar pearls inside. Is it inside. tiger sugar boba bubble tea thing? Is that not what it's called? No, it's like one of the, like the big chains. Oh. Um. Oh. <gasps> Have you tried boba guys? Yes. I've, um, I got. Tried. It's okay, it's but it's like super right? overpriced. Yeah. I'm not going. Wait, I think I've had it once. Super overpriced. I don't even think it was good. The one I got at boba guys. What the heck? Wow, now I feel really ashamed that I don't remember what it was called. It's called BBTs. Tiger sugar. No, it's definitely one of... It was, like, super, like, major brands. Machi Machi. The Alley. I don't know. I'm on Yelp. It had a purple logo. Okay. Purple logo. Bo- oh, Cha Time. Cha Time. I found it. Cha Time. They're, like, a big chain. I, I'm really ashamed that I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, But, yeah, Cha Time, really great. Um, Their brown sugar milk tea your, is amazing. Bo- 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 um i love them all but just for different reasons so t4 is probably my go-to yeah. because it's close <laughs> yeah bye and it's still pretty decent but like cha time i don't know i think their brown sugar milk tea hits the best i um oh in your order you said 30 percent sugar and zero ice I th- yeah, I also yeah. put the same amount. I put zero ice. Maybe 10% sugar or 20% though. I don't know. Um, okay, there is... Because ice is just so filling. Mm-hmm. Like, what? for what? what did you say? The drink is already so expensive. And then they put ice yeah. in it and the ice takes up half the cup. So that's why I always get yeah, no ice. Yeah, that's what my mom does. <laughs> she told me she's like, like never get ice because um, you can't, you're kind of basically getting half of the drink. You really are. Sorry. And there's one time where she told me. Oh my god, the guy's catching up to me in the build battle. <laughs> We're like one apart. I'm about to lose. Anyway. I should have used my fake um, so that's... Like it. Should I unlike his build? Because I liked his build. Oh yeah, you could do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Um. Okay, we won't add this part. Um. I... Also, um, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, um, oh yeah, there's one time where my mom, she was at T4, and she basically told them, like, no ice, and they're like, we can't do that, and she's like, what, like, you've guys done it before? 
Um, and I think they've just, mm-hmm. I think they know the algorithm where if you add more ice, you know. Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> That's true. But I, I drink, I don't really drink boba that much. Do you ever get like, um. I've had it once already this weekend. Really? I get it like probably <laughs> twice or maybe yeah. once a month. What? Okay. <laughs> You know what's also really good? That, like, fish ice cream. Okay. So, like, it's like the Japanese fish ice cream where they, like, make a fish mold. The cone is fish. Out of, like, dough. The cone is fish, right? Yeah, it it has, like, it contains no fish for anyone who's, like, freaking out right now. It doesn't contain fish. It's just a cone in the shape of a fish. Um, It's called, oh, my God, what is it called? It's called Uji, Uji Town. There's one near, there's one. It's Somi Somi. There's one of those. That's what it's called, yes um that one's good i forgot what it tasted like but i went with my my sister and i went with my sisters and my sister's boyfriend and um we got it Mm -hmm. and the problem was my my younger sister she ate it so messy that she got it everywhere on the bench outside of 89 bakery oh no and the bench was like sticky and everybody was like looking at us and i kept wiping Uh. and I was like, just throw away the ice cream. Like, it's not even edible anymore. Like, it's so <laughs> it's bad. not it's worth like it. It's melting too. I was like, oh my god. I felt bad. Um, but yeah. Or, I actually okay. don't remember if it was good or not. I don't know. When I need to give a favorite song, but I don't want people to be judgmental, I ask, I ask you. Anytime someone asks me what my favorite song is, I'm like, Carl, what do I say? tv show any answer that's like something i don't know about i'm like carl what what should i say like you and me same human being just give me a basic answer that they're not gonna think too deeply about but sometimes like my answers aren't that good but you know i like give you the basic ones the basic ones that i know (laughs) like the ones that like keep up with the trend they should ask us what our childhood elementary school class job was because you can tell so much from a person from that we've talked about this before i don't think on the podcast but your elementary school job is your personality type like some people think it's like zodiac signs no your elementary school job your favorite job dead giveaway i actually have a confession to make because my school well i don't know how you guys did it but we would rotate like the job so everybody at least got a job i actually have a funny story where we used to do like money systems for the jobs and so like um we'd be like bank managers or like bank people or accountants i guess to count your money and i was not a bright child and so i could not count and i remember telling my mom like oh my god like this was me in second grade but i remember telling my mom hey, like, look, I can't do this. <laughs> like, my second grade stuff was like, I can't count the money. I was so scared. And when I had to go count the money, I basically told this boy, like, in front of me, I was like, like, I did not know how to add and subtract. Like, I just did not get grasp the concept of math. And so I basically, like, told him, hey, um, can you do this yourself? Like, I don't know how. But once, like, he basically did it himself, I went back to my desk and basically didn't know what else to do. And, um, then she called me over and she basically said, um, Carl, what is this? Like, why didn't you help me count the money? Um, I was like, oh my god. And I basically got in trouble and I think I got, like, scolded or something by my second oh grade teacher. Oh my god, teacher. that's so mean. And not only did I have that incident, but I also had, like, this birthday incident but um but yeah you can go for you can go first in the beginning of the year they're all like everyone like tell us your birthdays this was kindergarten and they're like tell us your birthdays so they can put it on the wall because it's like a birthday wall right so every time someone's birthday comes up they sing happy birthday and me being the dumb and I, okay i wasn't like dumb but like i was like confused you know and so my dad's birthday is in November. And so we had just celebrated his birthday. And so I, when I didn't know my birthday. And so when they called on me, I was embarrassed. I didn't want to be like, I don't know my birthday. And so then I gave them my dad's birthday. Cause I thought we're in the same family. Like it must be the same. And then I told my dad, I was like, dad, like, um, what's my birthday? Because like they asked, but like, I didn't tell him I gave them his birthday. 
I was like, he tells me, right? And then I go back to class the next day and I'm like, um, I think I messed up. Like, I, it's like, it's in May. And then she's like, oh, okay, I'll, like, I'll change it. But like, looking back, May and November are nothing close. Like, I had a similar incident with like my um, birthday as well. I think it's so funny, but I also did not know my birthday at the time i think i was like in sec it was literally the same teacher i'm just realizing this but um my birthday is in october 7th and i asked my mom one time when my birthday was for some reason i thought it was like the 17th um and i told them about it and they didn't let me change it back (laughs) and so i was just like okay oh well maybe we're the only kids who didn't know our birthday Maybe that's why we're friends. I also just had a thought about, like, outfits in elementary. When I was, like, little, my mom would, like, dress me up. Like, I did not wear the cutest outfits in elementary. I wore, like, long sleeves, like, throughout the whole year. Like, I didn't even wear, I think, a single short-sleeved outfit. I wore, like, long sleeves even in the summer, and I was, like, sweating. It was so bad. And then I wore, like, these small like pants that were like not even shorts um but shorts that were like knee shorts (laughs) north um (laughs) and basically um and like they didn't like long sleeve shirts and shorts don't even look good so like imagine that with like knee shorts (laughs) and then what's worse is like i can't i can't even say it but like i wore cowboy boots and it was just not it wasn't good my mom were like yeah that that's so cute like where and i was like no like i tried so hard hiding my feet but it's like impossible because you're basically walking around (laughs) with using your feet wait that's kind of cute though those are like kind of photos that like when you look back on your school photos when you're getting married you're gonna be like all those days i thought it was so cool to wear yoga pants i would wear like patterned yoga pants like the very like you know you know what i'm talking about like the pattern one that's like yeah It just makes you cringe. But yeah, I love talking about like childhood memories and like comparing with people. I think it's just so funny just to see like how people live their lives different or similarly. Um, I think it's safe to say that we can probably end the podcast here and um, see you guys, you know, in the next two weeks. Um, Yep. See ya. But yeah, I so bye. And cue the outro. We finally have an outro. That's our episode. Bye. Bye.